Hi there and uh, welcome to this video where I'll do some benchmarking on the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 780 Windforce Overclocked Edition. I'll do all the benchmarks in new, demanding and popular games and tests like uh, 3D Mark Fire Strike, Battlefield 3, Metro Last Light, Bioshock Infinite and you know, games that people want to know how the graphics card perform. And uh, I'll do all these tests on my open bench over here running a Core i7-3770K at stock frequencies and about the graphics card, I haven't touched any settings at all they're all at default from factory which is overclocked but other than that I haven't touched anything at all the graphics card will run as Gigabyte have decided to and uh, I've done all the measurements with the Fraps utility with their built-in benchmark tool and I've also done the recordings with Fraps so I actually see no reason why to wait so let's get on some games Tobin's our only shot at who's back. Sam, I'm seeing a high value target. Oh. Oh, what 
You confirmed Coven was in here, Briggs. Right place, right build, I assume, sir. Okay, so we have now seen how great the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 780 performs and I was very pleased and surprised with how great it performed. I had no problems at all running any games and uh, as we even saw in 3D Mark Fire Strike, they compared this graphics card to the GTX Titan which is much more expensive but they perform almost the same, which is great and uh, something else that was very surprising was how quiet the card was under heavy load. Uh, the fan speed never went above 55%, which is half of the maximum fan speed, and the temperature was never above 70 degrees. So it seems like the temperature and the fan speed compromised to find a nice balance. And these are the default settings, I haven't touched anything. And I was very surprised with the core clock. The turbo got up to almost 1100 MHz on the core, which is amazingly high, and that's why we got so good performance. So that said, I think that this graphics card is really nice and if you're really looking for a graphics card that will handle all your games on the max settings, this is definitely one of the cards you'll want. Uh, other than that, I'll say thank you for watching this video and in the next video I will do some overclocking on this graphics card to see how far I can reach. I will squeeze every megahertz on the core. So thank you for watching.